Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and delicious recipe for a homemade pie crust. It is lectin free, gluten free, sugar free, and it's very delicious. So first we're going to add one and an eighth cups of flour into the bowl. You can use a mix like Bob's Red Mill Paleo mix is good, but I use a mix of my own. So I'm doing half a cup of blanched almond flour, a quarter cup of arrowroot flour, a quarter cup of tapioca flour, and an eighth cup of coconut flour, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, now whisk it all together. And now add in a quarter cup of cold butter. This is homemade butter, but you can also use French butter if you're following the Plant Paradox diet. Now use a pastry cutter to press the butter into the flour and combine it. You can also use your fingers for this if you don't have a pastry cutter or some shears and cut it together. Okay, so that looks really good. It's a bit grainy and looks like little pebbles. If you do this, that just helps the crust have a flakier texture. And then we're gonna add some liquid in. So I have some buttermilk that I had reserved from when I had made butter, but you can also use A2 casein milk. I'm gonna start with about an eighth of a cup. Just gonna see how that comes together. And now I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. So we're gonna gather it into a ball, trying not to press it too much. And shape it into like a disc. So now I'm going to wrap it up and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. So we've taken the dough out of the fridge and before we roll it out, we wanna preheat the oven to 375. So when I roll out the pastry, I usually use a giant silk pet mat, you can use parchment paper, so it's just so that it doesn't stick. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure it with the pie crust and it has enough for that. So we're gonna lift this mat slowly and it's okay if some of the pastry comes off. Right, so now I'm gonna get a big spatula and just loosen it up. It's okay if this breaks a little because we can always press it back in. Just wanna make sure we have most of it in there. Okay, and so that's what you expect with a gluten-free type of lectin-free crust like this. It's very fragile, but no one can tell once you press the pieces together. It's like playing with Play-Doh a little bit. Okay, now before I bake it, I'm just gonna bore some holes in it with a fork. And that just helps it not puff up when you're baking it. And before I add a filling, I always like to pre-bake the crust just for about five minutes, just to make sure that you don't get that soggy bottom. Yeah, that's looking really good. The pie crust is done and it's ready for you to add your filling in it. So I typically would add like some fruit or I might make a savory pie and add some veggies in it. And I would cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or so until it's done. And that's it. You have the most delicious lectin-free, gluten-free, sugar-free pie crust that doesn't crumble and has a really nice texture. Enjoy.